Well, Brandon, just to start, is that the most innocuous goal that you've ever scored? To be fair, there's been a few, I'm not going to lie, but um, however it goes in, as long as, you know, I'm, obviously it can help the team and obviously add to the tally, I'll take it, however it comes. There's uh, certainly a large slice of fortune about it, isn't it? The fact that Jason ran off celebrating and potentially where the ball hit you on your body? Yeah, I mean, you know, there, as I said, there's been a few times uh, along the way where, you know, it hits off any body part sort of thing. And then I sort of ran off. I thought everyone knew it was mine. And then I turned around and he was ran off celebrating, arms out and whatnot. So I thought I had to add a little bit more sauce to the celebration for a sec. <laughs> but um, nah, nah, I think all the boys sort of, yeah, in the end, I sort of made it clear that it was mine. So he weren't too happy, but the rest of the boys were all right. <laughs> what was he saying to you in the dressing room? He was just sort of asking me to not claim it, which is never going to happen. <laughs> but nah, he knew, and I'm sure he'll take the assist anyway. So, And on the overall performance, um, a very credible 1-1 draw here against Leeds United. They had the lion's share of possession, but do you feel as though the point was a, a deserved one for your team? Yeah, I think it was um, a well-fought a well fought, you know, well fought point. Um, there were times in the game, sometimes it's, it's a hard one because... There was a lot of possession that obviously Leeds had and we kind of knew what they would bring being away from home uh, for us and obviously the, the quality of opponent that we had today. Um, but saying that, I think, you know, when we did manage to spring out, we caused problems at times. And um, I think on the whole, um, we could probably take the, the point, to be fair. Um, we're always ambitious. We don't go in the games to, to draw. Um, but, you know, coming out of it, knowing how the game went, we'll take that um, and hopefully it pays off by the end of this season. So. It's no secret, Brandon, that our away form hasn't been at the levels that it perhaps should be if we want to be challenging for the, the upper echelons of this division. So how promising is it to come to a place like Ellen Road, second away game of the season, and take a point home? Yeah, I think it, um, it really sends a message not just to others but to ourselves as well to know, of course, everyone's been um, commenting on how competitive the, the league is this year. Teams that have come down who have been in the Premier League for years on end... Um, you got quality teams coming up as well and obviously the quality that was already in the league so I think um, in terms of setting that benchmark today knowing that we're going toe to toe with, with the best um, best of the teams in the league and we want to be we want to uh, set the pace for the league to be fair so we know that we've um, we've got more to come I don't I think all the players would say that we've um, we've got a little bit to do to, to achieve that but we know that we've got the quality in the dressing room to do that and we trust in the manager we trust in each other so we'll get there and just to touch on the away form again have you guys discussed the need to improve it as a as a group of players in the dressing room I think it's not we don't um, we do talk uh, on, uh, constantly about how we want to approach games uh, we really every game will go through um, the, our previous games and sort of what we did wrong what we did right so um, we don't really see it as like um, a big away form thing or home form um, because we want to approach every game for what it will bring um but we are aware and we, we, as I say, we go into every game to win it. So we hope that that can be reflected both at home and away. And, um, you know, things will change in uh, qu quickly. Yeah.